I'm Steve Rendell from Haynes Publishing. Uh, I'm looking after the Robot Wars Build Your Own Robot Manual and we're here on the set of Robot Wars in Scotland. Uh, we've asked a few of the competitors to give us an insight into what goes on behind the scenes and their experiences of building their own robots. Uh, our team name is Dorset Roboteering Team because that's where we're all from. Um, my name's Tim, I'm the team captain. Uh, we've got Nick, Carl and Sam and our robot's concussion. Uh, I've always loved it, we've always loved it, uh, all four of us on the TV, the old series, but uh, what really was the kickstarter was we came, we came up and um, we were VIP guests on the first series, on the new series, and we, we just got the bug from watching it, it's like we're, we can do this, we can definitely do this, so we went back, did some doodles and yeah, that's how we started. I think the trickiest part is not necessarily knowing what you want to put in there, it's interfacing it together. As uh, imagine with any sort of construction, it's how to interlink your key components so they can all work together as one unit. Ask questions, definitely ask questions. We, uh, we thought straight away last year we knew what we were doing with our drive, but we needed to learn, we needed to know a bit more. Um, so the best way to do that is by asking. There's so much experience here. If you added up all the years, it's yeah, a massive pool of knowledge. I think it's just the excitement. It's, uh, it, you know, it doesn't really boil down to if you win, if you lose. It's, it's just being in there, the adrenaline rush, and knowing that you've put your time and effort against someone else's, and it's the excitement of the whole thing. Um, me and Carl came back and we both, we both had in our heads a weapon that would be really good because we saw the big of our spinners and we saw the, the bulky arm of robots and we thought a drum would be really, really good for this. I mean, that sort of uppercut and uh, did, did a good amount of damage to panels and flipped people over. So we just sort of had the same idea, I guess.